I'm going to provide you with a basic guide on tomato seed germination and the materials you need to basically allow this process to happen. So first off, the checklist, you need plastic cells, growing medium, containers, heat mat, light with a timer, and humidity dome can be advised depending on your particular location. Let me go over these in a little bit more detail. So first off, the plastic cells. Well, typically they're all the same area. They're usually about a 10 by 10 inches by 20 inches. And the higher the cell count, the smaller the plug size. So if you're dealing with that same area in a 512 cell tray, well, those are going to be very, very small cells. Uh, 98 cell tray in that same 10 by 20 area, those are going to be much larger cells. The 128s are the typical standard that's used uh, for most crops, including uh, tomatoes here. If you're a large operation, you may want to consider a vacuum seeder. While they are typically around $600, it's a very efficient method, as you can do about 120 flats an hour, and that's about 15,000 seeds in one hour. I included a link to a YouTube video about it, and also a link to where you can look at prices for those. Now, growing medium, there's something called seed starting mix, which is finer and is important for small seeds like tomatoes for good soil and moisture contact. If you're up potting, going from a small container to a larger container, then you can use more traditional potting mixes can be considered. Pro mix is often considered to be the standard, but there's many different types out there for consideration. Uh, the containers. It can depend on the final planting spot and method you choose to use. Cow pots are biodegradable on the soil and need to be planted so the rim is not exposed to the air. So if you're starting something in a cow pot, go plant that directly into the field and don't have to worry about it. Plastic pots are cheap and widely available, and you would have to kind of transplant the tomato out of that if you're going into the um, soil or a field application. And there's also fabric bags that can hold plants all season if soil is not conducive to planting in. This could be for very small operations. This could be for people selling plants that want for end markets that want to be put on a patio or something. There's just another option there. For tomato seed germination, after that seedling germinates, it's going to need light. Since they're starting them indoors, that can be of concern. There's many options, and the goal is to supply your plant light so it doesn't get too leggy. A lot of people use shop lights because they're a cheap option, but they're kind of a poor selection because they need to be kept almost touching the plants, and they don't really don't produce a great spectrum of light. T5 fluorescents are higher output lights, and they're a much preferred option uh, despite their increased cost. Uh, ceramic metal halides, CMHs, are current recommendation due to less bulbs and improved light production over our traditional T5s. And LEDs uh, might be the best option, but if we're just looking at seedlings, probably not the cost, probably is not justifiable at this time. Whatever we're using, we do want to be mindful of the light age and the life expectancy of the bulb we're using. And even though they might be producing light that we can see and appears to be bright, it may not be of high plant value. Humidity domes can also be considered uh, great for uh, the germination process to reduce the need for watering, which may disrupt the radical as that little tiny tomato seed starts to germinate, um, for especially small and fragile seedlings. You can also consider a misting system, depending on the production and scale, to deliver a fine um, mist, fine moisture to the medium, and also increase the humidity in the propagation area. And then there's good old-fashioned watering can is another thing. Just be careful that you're not disturbing the seeds too much, or you might disrupt uh, that delicate germination process. A uh, heat mat is a good idea to get a thermostat. There's not one already included. Goal is to have that soil be around 70 to 75. Keep in mind, in this case, warmer is not better. Anything over 85 can heat, hurt or decrease your germination rate. This is kind of that overview of that basic process there. Start seeds about six weeks before intended planting date. I would advise germination mix. Uh, trays with a high cell count are going to have smaller um, area, so I suggest about a 120. You want to put it in an area where the seeds are going to be around 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Typically that would be supplied as bottom heat, and using an efficient grow light would be recommended.